Greetings from Sanjay Gandhi Institute, Lucknow. We'll be sharing our operative technique of transvasoscopic excision of parietal hush diverticulum with bilateral cross diagonal urethral implantation. Our patient was a two-year-old boy with history of recurrent febrile UTIs since birth. VCUG showed right grade four and left grade five vesicular urethral reflux, and DMSS sh- uh, scan showed a right midpolar scar. These are the port position, and we used two, three mm and one five mm port. The ports are inserted using Professor Mohan Abraham technique. A pneumovasicum of 8 mm of mercury is created. Now, stents are inserted in both the ureters. We can see the roomy left hush diverticulum. The uh, diverticulum is then inverted into the bladder. The plane is then created uh, between the diverticulum mucosa and the tetrusa. Once the diverticulum is separated, the ureter is visualized and it is mobilized in standard fashion. Now we should not try to uh, devascularize the ureter too much and uh, carefully the adequate length is achieved. Now the uh, tension is turned towards the uh, right ureter. Again the ureter is mobilized in the standard fashion and the adequate length is achieved. A sum mucosal tunnel is created for the left ureter. You can see the entire length of the uh, uh, sum mucosal tunnel is in the ratio of 4 is to 1. The terminal part of the uh, dilated left ureter with the hush diverticulum is then excised and the left ureter is then passed into the sum mucosal tunnel. Now the first anchoring stitch is taken with the entire thickness of the bladder wall including the detrusa. After that, mucosa to mucosal anastomosis is done using 5-0 polyodaxanone sutures. The detrusa on the left uh, uretic hiatus is then closed in an interrupted fashion. Now the submucosal tunnel for the right ureter is then created and the right ureter is passed to the submucosal tunnel. Then the terminal part of right ureter is excised and again the anchoring stitch is taken with full thickness of the bladder wall and then mucosa to mucosa anastomosis is done. After this mucosal closure over the right hiatus is then performed and then mucosal closure over the left hiatus is also performed. DJ stents are inserted in both the right and left ureters and a thorough wash is given. This is the final reconstructive uh, image. Uh, a foley character is inserted per year 3. The operating time was 220 minutes. Uh, the child underwent an uneventful post of recovery. DJ stent was removed after 3 weeks and after 6 months of follow up, the child is asymptomatic with resolution of reflux on VCUG. In conclusion, transvesicoscopic treatment of bladder diverticula and vesicular reflux is an effective and safe procedure with all the advantage of minimal access surgery. Thank you very much.